Okay, so 9.3 here, um, they're showing us that we can return a tuple. Uh, and actually, uh, I've done that uh, many times with things. So let me copy this and uh, go in here and paste it. Now, I wouldn't call this F, I don't think. I would call it like um, uh, circle measures or something like that. It's a long name, but you know that's probably what I would do. And so um, notice here it does the circumference uh, 2 pi r, and then um, the uh, uh, radius uh, uh, squared here, so that's area. Uh, now I think this will give us an error in here because we're using the math package, um, but let's just see. Uh, I don't remember if you have to import the math package right off. Uh, we'll find soon enough. Uh, so I could do something like um, you know, out here do uh, C comma A for circumference and area is equal to uh, circle measures of say 2 and then I could uh, print, I could print them both, but I could just do print C, I could print uh, the area. Like I say, I think this is going to give us a, uh, an error. See, yeah, see, so it, it um, math is not defined, you see, so I have to tell it to go get math. And so up here I say import math. And it should work this time, I believe. And you see, there it does. Um, oh, that's uh, strange. Um, oh, I used two. <laughs> let's use a number where they don't, I don't get the same answer. Uh, let's try three. I used two, so you get you know, four times pi here, and you get four times pi there. Uh, so, um, so there we go. We get our different numbers: uh, eighteen point eight four nine, or in other words, six times pi uh, for the first number, and then uh, pi r squared or pi times nine for the second number. So that's the idea. And and again, uh, these could be any number of things. Um, you know, I could. Um, yeah, I could it maybe have other measures of the circle or, or something like that. Um, you know, I could do a, if I, you know, I could even give it a, a height and a, you know, so, so let's do, um, let's make another one of these. And I'm just going to copy all of that stuff. Put it down here and now, um, Let's do uh, um, uh, uh, what's the um, I'm blanking out here um, uh, cylinder. Uh, so actually, I'll keep the measures uh, cylinder measures, but it's going to require a tuple. It's going to need a radius and a height. And I'll do it as a tuple. So uh, radius, height. I'll bring that in as a tuple. Uh, certainly don't have to, but I can. And so now um, uh, I'll get the uh, um, sort of the bottom surface area. So bottom, and that is. Uh, well, actually, let's keep circumference. Uh, so I'm going to call it CIR, though. Uh, circumference, uh, 2 pi r. OK, but to get to the r, I actually, um, well, I don't know, actually. We'll see what happens by bringing it in this way with the r and the h as a tuple. Um, now that I think about it, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, but that's 
you know, and this is one of the things, though, you know, this, the spirit of, uh, and I'll, uh, and here I'll, I'll do end um, area. Uh, I will do uh, volume. And so the end area is still a pi r squared. Um, the volume is just the end area times the height, so h uh, times end area. And then um, the surface area, lateral surface area, so lat surface area is um, the circumference times the height, so h times cir. And then I can return all of those things. So I can return um, uh, the CIR end area volume and lateral surface area. So I can I can return all of those things. And so let me try. You know, we'll see what happens here with. Um, with this, uh, I may not be able to pass that tuple like that. Um, but again, you know, part of what I'm trying to show you is you can experiment. It's okay if something doesn't work. So we'll keep the area of three or the radius of three, and we'll give it a height of four. Um, and then here, I want. Uh, the circumference, I want the end area, so maybe I'll uh, call that um, uh, EA, uh, comma, um, the volume, V, comma, uh, the lateral surface area, so uh, I'll call that LA, and then print um, each of these. Print B, print L. Uh, so let's see if it'll it'll get that R and H off of there. It 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 may not. Um, yeah. So it says invalid syntax. So I I don't think I can take it as a tuple. Oh well. Um, let's try a couple things. So let me keep it that way. So I just realized. So I'm, I'm, uh, I probably, well, I don't know. Like I say, I um, uh, let's do M for um, or P for parameters equals, and we'll do the three comma four like that. Now we'll put in a P. I think I'm going to get that same error because as far as the computer is concerned I'm giving it the same thing. So cell run cells. Yeah, same error. Doesn't, doesn't like that uh, syntax up here. So let's get rid of that. Now we'll see can I pass it as a tuple uh, this way because I'm expecting an R and an H. Can I give it the 3, 4 as a, as a um, tuple this way? I'm not so sure I can. Ooh. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. So it's uh, it's saying uh, missing one required positional um, uh, argument H. See. So yeah, it couldn't it couldn't handle taking the tuple like that. And so. Um, you know, we could do something like R equals 3, uh, H equals 4, and then just hand in it uh, R and H here. So, you know, uh, putting it in, I cannot use a tuple that way, um, at least the, the way I, I wanted to there, uh, because it's got to have some name variables. And there may we be a way to to do it. Uh, I'm just um, I'm not sure that there is. 
and so here I've got all my numbers and we can see that the you know the circumference and the area matched up and then we get our uh, volume and our lateral surface area okay so that is the parameter stuff what we can and can't do uh, so we can't pass it in as a tuple because it, it and that kind of makes sense you know what's here we've got we've named R we've named H but what did we name the tuple okay well we didn't have a name for it it, it had the pieces R and H but we didn't have a name for it and and so we had to pass those in separately um, and then uh, however we could uh, send them out uh, as a as a tuple and assign them here as that tuple. Now one thing we didn't check is what what happens you know certainly if we ask for too many things that'll give us an error but what if we don't ask for enough? What happens? Does it give us an error or is it, does it just give us those first three things the 18, 28, and 113? and you see uh, too many values to unpack right so so it did give us an error here where we um, uh, had that that issue uh, so that was um, LA we called it we'll put that back so it's, it works again run that okay and so that is, whatever this was, 9.3.